Apostle Dr. Ronald Shelley. No. Margaret Shelley, amen. Great anointed men and women of God. Julia Williams, who's absent from body present with the Lord. We give honor, amen, to our chief apostle, who's seen the blue, amen, going on to be with the Lord. And again, we give honor to our apostle, our overseer, Shelly, amen, of prelates of the Holy Temple, Holiness Church of Deliverance, located at 336 East 25th Street, the city of Baltimore, Maryland. Amen. We give honor to our elder, Elvin Evangelist Blackwell. Give honor to our evangelist and Minister Bell. Give honor to our prophetess Lucas. Amen. Give honor to our elder Snyder. Give honor. Amen. To our minister. Amen. Of music. We thank God for our, our minister, Isaiah Thomas. Thank God for our junior minister, Jabez. And give honor to our junior minister, Ronald. Amen. We thank God so much for each of you that are tuning in on Facebook, all the social media platforms. Expect a miracle on this day because you're going to be blessed by the anointed word of God. Amen. We give God glory, honor, and praise. And we're at this time, we will take our silver off and we ask our junior minister, Ronald, amen, to assist us. Amen. And we ask our prophetess Lucas if she would share our scripture reading on today. Please receive that in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. This was a vision that was passed down from our chief, Julia Williams. She was praise and thank God for the legacy that she left and that our apostle and general is still keeping on. Psalms 41 and 4. Blessed is he that considereth the poor, the Lord will deliver him in the time of trouble. Psalms 9 and 14. For the needy shall not be forgotten, the expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Psalms 68 and 10. The congregation that dwelleth therein, thou, O God, have prepared of thy goodness for the poor. Psalms 69 and 33. For the Lord hath the poor and despiseth not his prisoners. Psalms 72 and Judge the poor of the people, he shall save the children of the needy, he shall break in pieces the oppressor. Psalms 102 and 17. He will regard the prayer of the destitute and not despise their prayers. Psalms 113 and 7. He raises up the poor out of the dust and lifted the needy out of the dust. Psalms 132 and 15. I will abundantly bless her provision, I will satisfy her poor with prayer. Father God, we thank you on this morning for this silver offering. Ask you, Lord, that it be used for the upkeeping of your building, that it will bless someone in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for who gave and those who did not give. God, that you will bless them, that they be able to give on the very next time. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
So we're excited about the move of God. We're excited about the word of God. Amen. We're excited about what the Lord is doing. If you have a special prayer request, we're asking you to type in on the, on the chat, on any uh, communication network that you have in front of you. Type in your prayer request. Apostle Novus and Shelley and officials will be praying for you. If you have somebody that needs a healing, if you know somebody that needs a deliverance, if you know somebody that needs a touch from God, I'm asking you to touch and communicate. Type their name in the chat and communicate and our prayers will be going up. Amen for them. I, I, and we pray for each one of you. Amen. That join us. Amen. On social media. We thank God for you. Amen. And at this time, Amen. We, we ask that our, a portion of our choir that will come up and give a selection at this end. And, and following that, we'll receive our announcements from our band with Blackburn. That's our choir. If they would come and right behind the choir, we'll hear our announcements from our evangelist Blackwell. God bless you. We see our choir with the songs of praise. Jesus. Praise the mighty men know our God is big on this morning. He's strong. He's mighty. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray for us on this morning. Hallelujah.
I doubt can I do at this time. I see our evangelist Jeanette Blackwell with our announcement. Station, South Carolina. God bless you. We're excited. We 
Amen. About the appreciation service. Amen. So we thank God so much for the Lord. We'd like to ask our elder Blackwell if we would come at this time to bless those that are sick and those that are sharing. God bless you. Receive our elder Hopkins Blackwell. In Jesus' name. Oh! 
thank you all for coming out today and, and thought it not robbery to be here and we even thank God for those that are not here. Thank God for those that are watching us. Amen. On different platforms. We praise God for you. We thank God for you. Amen. And we just happy to be in the house of God. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm grateful. Amen. To be in the land of the living. I'm reading today about incident happening in Brooklyn. Amen, where 30 people, I believe, were involved in a shooting and two people are no longer with us. The mayor said, think about this as if it were your own family. Amen, and that hit home. Amen, praise the Lord. I used to work in Brooklyn, Maryland. Brooklyn is a part of Baltimore, but it's almost like it's has its own subdivision. You ever been to Brooklyn? It's different. Yeah. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Thank you Lord. Brooklyn is different. It's very impoverished. Amen. And I solicit your prayers for the people that were assaulted, shot. Amen. Brother Leon says, you don't know what death is. Two people passed, an 18-year-old girl and a 20-year-old young man. Just put that in context. 18-year-old girl and a 20-year-old young man. He hadn't even reached adulthood. She hadn't even reached adulthood. Pray for their families. Amen. And pray for Brooklyn. Praise the Lord. It has Maryland's highest rate for OBs, overdoses, due to narcotics and opiates. It has Maryland's highest rate for human trafficking. See, it doesn't touch us, so we don't really think about it. But young girls are taken off of the street and sold into the market of human traffickers. Somebody give God praise. Somebody just think about that for a second. Amen. So a lot of all this mess happening in Brooklyn. So we ask you to pray um, concerning Care Foundation. We worked out of Brooklyn, did a lot of good work, fed thousands of people. Um, Brother Anthony and I, and a number of others, we worked out of Brooklyn. We praise the Lord for a few years. And this is not much removed. We did it before the pandemic, and we did it also after the pandemic. Amen. We, we have to be a church without walls. Amen. And we have to pray. How I many know prayer changes things? Amen. Prayer change this thing. We've been talking about the theme. Help Lord. Look at your name and say, Help Lord. Help Lord. Think about Brooklyn right now and say, Help Lord. Help Lord. Think about the family of the 18-year-old and the 20-year-old. Someone say, Help Lord. Help Lord. Think about those that are taken in human trafficking. Somebody say, help, Lord. Help, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Think about those that you know yourselves. All of us here have had a loved one pass away because of drug abuse. Somebody say, help, Lord. Help, Lord. Help, Lord. That's been our theme, and we're going to carry that theme also, I believe, into complication, which is not far away 
Praise the Lord. Once you get your Bibles, turn to Daniel, the sixth chapter. I want you to pray for us because we don't know how the Lord wants to deliver this word. Amen. We just pray that he would have his way. Again, we thank you all for coming out today. Thank you for being a part of this service. Thank you, amen, for morning worship. Amen. We are grateful and thankful. Praise the Lord. So we're in the sixth chapter of the book of Daniel. And then we're going to ask, uh, starting at the first verse, we're going to ask the evangelist, Sister Pastor Smith, if she would read for us. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom 120 princes. these three presidents of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give account unto them, and the king should have no damage. Now, we're talking a little bit about Darius, and also, again, the main character, of course, is Daniel. Uh, Daniel, uh, a prophet of God, a man of God, uh, who was taken uh, captive when Nebuchadnezzar went to uh, Jerusalem and uh, besieged it, warred against it, defeated Israel, and as a result, took elect individuals back to Babylon. Daniel was young, probably in his teens, maybe even younger, and along with others that were elect individuals. These were studious people. These were smart, intelligent individuals. They wanted to make them servants. They wanted to put them to work. They wanted to adopt them. They wanted to uh, give them instruction and Daniel was one of those and he endured and he not only endured he prospered and he had prospered to the place that he was recognized as one of the presidents uh, Lord I thank you God will take you from nobody and make you somebody he'll take yeah. you from a slave and he'll make you a ruler yeah. somebody give God a hand clap Amen. praise the Lord that's God will do that. God will take you from slavery and give you freedom and make you over those that have actually put you in slavery. Now, Daniel was this man who had uh, ascended to new heights and new depths in the kingdom. Now, I want to tell you something. Uh, that when you ascend, everybody don't like you. When you uh, go up, when you prosper, when you become blessed, when you are elevated, uh, uh, there is a, a dislike. Yes. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Now, uh, Daniel had gotten to the pinnacle of government. He wasn't the king, but he was one of the three presidents. And as a result of it, what happened, uh, uh, the other presidents and the other council people got envious of Daniel. Lord, I thank you. I want to say this again. When you ascend, when you go up, when you are elevated, when you are anointed, when you are chosen, when you are set aside, when you are Promoted, when you uh, have a gift and you recognize and you're celebrated and people uh, uh, honor you, uh, uh, envy will develop around you. Yes. Uh, uh, and uh, it will envy uh, where you see it, you see every evil work. Uh, yes, you'll see yes. murders around envy. Uh, you'll see uh, thievery around envy. What happened uh, to Daniel was uh, uh, the kings, uh, not the king, but the president and the council began to conspire. They began to uh, 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 go in conspiracy together. Uh, they say they, they, they looked at uh, 
Daniel and they wanted to find fault against him. Ah, uh, there's always somebody uh, who's trying to find fault against you. Now, Daniel didn't give him a reason to fault. Uh, listen here now. Uh, when it came to being on time for work, he was on time for work. Uh, when it came to paying his taxes, uh, he paid his taxes. Uh, uh, when it came to how to treat people, uh, he treated people. Man, uh, somebody say, yeah. uh, uh, when people can't find fault, uh, they don't stop. They're gonna keep my uh, uh, trying to find it. What did the Bible said? Uh, Satan is as a roaring lion. Uh, he's seeking uh, whom he made a vow. What does the Bible say? When the sons of God uh, came to. Satan uh, always trying to sin rich sin, uh, some kind of confusion. Uh, and he saw Daniel, uh, he saw Daniel's purpose, uh, he saw Daniel's anointing, uh, he saw Daniel's calling, uh, he saw Daniel's elevation. Uh, Fire uh, against Daniel. Uh, they said, We're not going to find uh, 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 anything against him. Uh, we need to be more subtle. Uh, we need to be wiser. Uh, so, what we're going to do, uh, what does Daniel do? Uh, Daniel makes petitions uh, of his God uh, often. Uh, someone said three times a day. Uh, somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, uh, so we're going to uh, uh, go to the king uh, and get a law established uh, and allow this law uh, to catch Daniel uh, in a fault. Uh, mm, uh, so they went to the king and said, king, uh, uh, we have a law for 30 days uh, uh, that no man can make a petition uh, uh, except unto you. Uh, uh, they have to come to you if they have a request. Uh, they gotta come to you if they have a desire. Uh, they gotta come to you if they have a petition. Uh, they gotta come to you if they need something. Uh, they can't go to anybody else. Uh, they can't do it uh, to any other God. Uh, and the king signed it. And as he signed it, uh, uh, the king was feeling mighty good because they had lifted him up. Watch him when people speak well of him. back up a little bit. Great. I love it. I thank God for getting my honorary doctorate. Somebody tell her thank you. I appreciate that. Very nice. I do. Yes. You can say apostle and you can say doctor, but I'm asking you, don't put both of them together. And then I know. I just don't want to be like everybody else. Is that all right? Right. Everybody want all of these degrees behind their name. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. Now I thank God for my wife recognizing and honoring me. I'm not speaking ill of her, but I'm just saying praise the Lord for you when you uh I'm either apostle. And that's okay. If you don't want to use a doctor, that's okay. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. Huh? Yes. The Bible does say give honor to whom honor is due. I'm just trying to figure out why we got to have all of these titles after our names. I just, I just, Dr. Reverend, Apostle, Bishop, um, and then the name. Ms. I love my wife. I appreciate her because she's proud of me yeah. and I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her. She's, 
I've been talking for a long time. She wanted to go back to school. Amen. Praise the Lord. And um, she's, she's done this. And she's doing it. Praise the Lord. And uh, look at it. Say, never, it's never too late. No, it's not. Never Amen. I'm proud of her. Even if she didn't go back to school, because guess what? I would not be who I am without her. I don't care if you don't clap. I don't I wouldn't be who I am. No way I would have been able to get to graduate school. I couldn't have did that. Without her, no way I would have been able to be a leader of a school, a principal of a school without her. She helped me. She helped me. Look, look, look. You got to always remember people who help you. Don't never forget. It's a poor duck that don't praise his own palm. That's so true. Amen. Say it again, apostles. You have to take some time. Don't let nobody here make yourself. We're all uh, a product of the help of other people. Maybe somebody prophesied. that you kept, that helped form you. We are the product of other people. God using other people. I didn't mean to go to this place. But we're the product of that. Always appreciate people. Somebody tell them what thank you. Appreciate individuals. Don't ever get to a place where uh, you think you didn't done everything. That's the problem what happened to Nebuchadnezzar. He got prideful and he got lifted up and he said, I have built this kingdom. You no, know, you can't do no more than what God allowed you to do. That's it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And God works through people. Somebody tell God thank you. Thank you, Lord. God works through people. God allows people to be a blessing uh, to us. Somebody give God a hand clap. And I'm not trying to shoot at people that have doctor degrees or have that there are apostles or uh, our bishops. I'm not, not doing that. That's not. I'm trying Just me, praise the Lord. If other people want to be doctor, bishop, uh, reverend, cardinal, uh, chief apostle, uh -oh. somebody tell them if they want to be that, then they can be that. Give honor to more honor to do. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm just saying, you don't need all those salutations in front of my name. Praise the Lord. Make me feel uncomfortable. Yes. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. What people don't know, you got to live up to that. That's right. You need to elevate, you live up to it. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. So, Daniel. Let's get back to the scriptures. Um, uh, I lost my place. Uh, Evangelist Smith, can you read for us? Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes because an excellent spirit. Was See, that's the key right there. Excellent spirit. Be excellent. Excellent. An excellent spirit was in Daniel. He knew how to behave in front of people. But at the same time, he was dedicated. He was dedicated to his God. He was dedicated to his faith. 
he would turn to the east, kneel, and pray three times a day. He sought God. He asked petitions of God. So that's how the individuals, the other presidents, were able to entrap him. Because when Daniel heard of the decree, he didn't stop making his petitions. Sometimes because there's a wave and other people are on that wave, then we try to put ourselves in a position that we're uh, going to go away from what we know, what we believe, and what we've been taught. Just because you have a majority doesn't mean that it's right. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you Lord. Ah, the majority said that you couldn't make a petition before any other except the king. Uh, but Daniel had a faith. Yeah. He had a, a relationship with God. Right. He knew the law that they had uh, uh, created was wrong. Uh, so he stood up against the law. Uh, somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, Lord, I love you today. Uh, are you either going to stand for some things um, or are you going to fall for everything? Uh, somebody say, uh, because you have the majority, uh, it doesn't make it right. Uh, somebody say, uh, Daniel, uh, he began to pray and to seek God. Uh, and as a result of it, uh, they sent the police uh, uh, to arrest him. Uh, I'm paraphrasing. Uh, as Overseer Shelley says, uh, they sent the police uh, uh, come knocking on the door uh, and they arrested Daniel. Uh, Lord, I thank you right now. Uh, Daniel was put in handcuffs uh, and brought before the king. Uh, uh, king uh, uh, Darius uh, had Daniel standing before him. Uh, yeah. uh, and he said, King, oh king, uh, there's a law uh, that no man can make a petition uh, of any other except you uh, uh, for 30 days. And look at here now. Your president has committed rebellion. Your president has violated your law. And according to the punishment, it says he has to die. Uh, the mechanism uh, he has to be thrown uh, into the den of lions. Uh, the king heard it uh, and immediately knew uh, something was wrong uh, because he sought uh, to deliver Daniel. Uh, he realized uh, he had been 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 uh, tricked. Uh, he realized. He was bamboozled, manipulated, lied to, but he tried to deliver Daniel. But the law was the law, and you can't change it. But look at here now. God created man who created law. God can intervene. Someone say, help the law. Lord, I thank you. Now look at here. Uh, Daniel standing before the king. And the king says to Daniel, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm paraphrasing. But you have to go uh, to the dead on lions. Uh, but the God that you serve continually, he will deliver you. Yeah, when you're righteous, God will deliver you. Now look at here, the king who wasn't necessarily of the Jewish faith 
or the Hebrew religion. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. He spent the whole night fasting and praying. Lord have mercy. He didn't want daddy to die. Someone said prayer. Change this thing. Lord, I thank you right now. In the morning, when he rose, he went to the cave, which they had sealed. Lord, that mercy. You know they were evil people. They were making sure Daniel wasn't getting out of there. They sealed the cave. Sometimes people call themselves sealing your faith. Sometimes they, they call themselves putting a, a stone, a boulder over your escape. Yeah. But how many know with every temptation, God will prepare a way to escape? In Daniel's case, he didn't have to escape. Huh? Daniel! As no more made petitions to his God. God sent an angel down from heaven. Now, remember when we preached some time ago? God's angel are fighting for us. We all have angels. Lord have mercy. Uh, that protect us uh, sometimes they're there uh, as we're driving our cars uh, over the dangerous highway uh, sometimes they're there uh, when we walk out uh, and we go shopping uh, amidst all kinds of people uh, some robbers uh, some thieves uh, Lord have mercy uh, sometimes God put an angel around our home uh, to protect us. Uh, somebody said uh, God sent an angel uh, down to Daniel uh, to shut the mouths uh, of the lions. Uh, it wasn't that the lions weren't hungry. Uh, it wasn't that they weren't evil. Uh, it wasn't that they weren't animals. Uh, but God sent an angel uh, down to fight for Daniel, somebody say yeah, say help, Lord, hallelujah, no doubt, Daniel, hallelujah, even some pictures haven't portrayed, I'm right there with the lions, but the lions can't do anything, if God before you, Somebody say yeah. 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 yeah, 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 help, help, Lord, yeah, Lord. All you gotta do is be faithful, I'll be a believer, be dedicated, be consecrated, be set aside. Your name doesn't have to be Daniel. It could be uh, Ronald, uh, it could be Isaiah, uh, it could be Margaret, uh, it could be Nina, uh, somebody say yeah, it could be Will, uh, Lord have mercy, uh, God, uh, a to an angel uh, there uh, in the midst uh, of the dim lions, uh, yeah, hallelujah. God is there to protect his own. I heard him say, ah, touch not my prophets. Ah, do my prophets no harm. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Look at me now. God will fight your battle. Uh, to the temple, uh, ran to the dinner lions, uh, 
had it unsealed and I had a question. He said, Oh, Daniel. I remember years ago I was working and uh, I was working at the Job Corps Center as a counselor and I was in a meeting and in my meeting there were other counselors there and the supervisor and I wasn't particularly liked. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Thank you. Sometimes when the, the Bible said they hated me without a cause, sometimes people don't have any compassion on you. They just, because your lifestyle condemns them, they hate you. Can I get a witness? And immediately, I knew their thoughts. They wanted me fired. They didn't want me to have the job. They didn't think I should have the job. They didn't think I was deserving of it. Praise the Lord. And I remember writing in my tablet, a den of lions. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. And I went through some things there. Lost my car and had to hitchhike back and forth with the word. Don't know how I got the word on time. And sometimes uh, when they had different times, they had 7 to 11, and then they had 8 to 4. And the 7 to 11, that was a um, was it 7 to 11? No, it was, I think, 3 to 11. I think it was 3 to 11. And when I had to work, no, please forgive me. It was 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And I worked from 8 to 4. So, like Monday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I might work 7 to 4. And Tuesday and Thursday might be 11 to 7 at night. And that night time was the particular tough time because everybody was leaving the center. And so sometimes I was able to get a ride off of the center to Route 40. And Route 40 is a U.S. route. It goes from all the way from uh, the East Coast in uh, Philadelphia to California. So if you want to look at Route 40, it actually goes that far. So I had to hitchhike back to my home, which was about 35 miles from the center. And sometimes it was at night. Sometimes I had to leave early in the morning. If I worked at eight, I had to be there at eight. So I had to leave like at six because I was living uh, in an area called uh, Dundee Village or Tidewater. Some of you may know where it is. It's in Baltimore County. And so when I left, I had to leave very early in the morning in order to get there somewhere around eight. So maybe they had a reason uh, to not want me to work there. Maybe they thought I was a bad example. Um, but they didn't offer to give me a ride. They didn't offer to come pick me up. But they didn't want me there. So anything that they could do to get me removed, they would. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. I don't even know to this day Somebody said, but God. but God. How I was able to keep that job. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Lord. But I kept it. Helped a 
lot of people. Maybe that's why God, when when you when your heart's right, maybe everything you're doing is not right. But your heart is right. A lot of kids. I, I work with kids there that were, <laughs> believe it or not, kids that have come out of the juvenile uh, system who had committed serious crimes. Uh-oh. I remember even working with this one guy, his name was, I'm not even going to say his name, but he told me he had actually killed someone. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. He was part of the Philadelphia Games. But those are the kind of people that we worked with back then in Job Corps. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. But God has saved a murderer. Can I get a witness? See, God was there for me not to necessarily, Lord have mercy, to, to, to be counseling assign them to educational plans and to vocational plans, but to help them as individuals make good choices and to know God. Now, now look at here. Out of that came about five or six young men uh, who eventually joined the church and changed their lives around. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. Amen. But they weren't able to get rid of me. They weren't able to destroy me. I wasn't caught by the lions in the lion's mouth. Somebody tell the Lord thank you. One day I was on my way to work and I was hitchhiking and I uh, found myself in the middle of the road. Ah, uh, at the end of Eastern Avenue. Lord oh, have mercy. I was trying to work my way from Ebenezer Road uh, to Route 40. But I found myself in the middle of the road. Looked up, and here comes a Mack truck. Somebody tell her, oh, thank you. I tried to move out of the way. Hallelujah. But it seemed like everything was in slow motion. If I moved here, the truck went there. If I moved to the left, the truck moved to the left. I was hit, knocked out of my shoes. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. But yeah.
feel like quitting. I don't felt like that. Yes. Uh, felt like throwing your hands up, giving up. I didn't felt like that. My grandson, he looked at me and said, I didn't know that, Pops. I don't care if you're human, you're going to go through moments where you just feel like Ooh. enough is enough. You feel like giving up. Uh, what would happen if Daniel had to give up? We wouldn't have that testimony. We wouldn't be preaching about him today. We wouldn't be talking about him. Now Daniel prayed. God sent his angels. See, doing this time that I was at work, somebody had started at work. I was at work. I was in the Lord have mercy still lines. Uh, I was still praying, sister. Keep on praying. God deliver. I kept on praying. Kept on seeking God.